Hello, McWarriors. How's it going? And welcome to another episode of Rogue Tank. We are building our King Crab today because I, I don't know if you can see it up, up there. I've sold some items. I sold some make parts that I didn't need anymore. Now we got 9 million C builds and that is enough to actually start a build. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, for the build itself, I decide to go for the King Crab triple zero. No, wait, zero one zero because that thing has shoulder, upper and lower arm. The other one has also a hand and I think I want to make something happen with that maybe you know you know what i mean right doing some claw action with a king crab could be fun so um i wanna i wanna start the build here and as i said earlier i want to make this a ballistic powerhouse i want to use rotary auto cannons mostly to actually fuel the damage output and we're gonna use rotary auto cannon twos for extreme range uh, and, and accuracy and stuff like that so we're gonna start by dropping the lbx auto cannons probably also the ppc yeah, that's a that's a clean slate. We're gonna start here. First of all, we will go for a I'd say 300 rated engine. We want a Clan XL engine on that guy, and then we're gonna start slapping weapons on this dude. What I want is this. I want to put two rocks in one arm and then another rock on the other arm, and this rotary auto cannon could be. It should be another two, but we have a pirate two. Ah, I just see. Yeah, this uses Ultra Auto Cannon 2 ammo. Mm. It's not what I want. I want Precision and Incendiary ammo on this guy. And we only have Rack Incendiary and Precision ammo. Like this here. So I'm gonna start with this. Alright. This is the only ammo that we got for our good old Rotary 2s. We need to find better stuff. More stuff. Okay, Optics Mark 3. Probably an exchanger because we want to pad this with most likely extended range PPCs. Uh, we'll see about it. We need recoil reduction. So we're going to put up our recoil plus over here. We don't have a weapon mount currently that wants to go on the lower arm. But we can find it. Yeah, that's plus one accuracy and negative one recoil for the rack. Beautiful. We probably want something like a like straight up ballistic fire control system. But we'll see about that. So... What is our mech also going to run? I mean, a gyro would be nice, and I think we go defensive here. We got the Royal Double Heat Sink Kit already. That's good. Structure and armor-wise, we could either go full composite or endo composite. Man, we can slap so much stuff on this mech. Hmm. Because of the rate reduction, we might not want to go for energy weapons, but instead missile weapons, which are a little colder, so we can manage our heat a bit better. But they are heavier, but we got the weight. Let me think about it. Do we have enough ATMs to fuel this? Not really. Not really. We have two missile hardpoints. We have got IATM-12 and IATM-9, but I don't think we have ammo for that. EMP and one regular bin. That's 60 shots. It's another 60. It's 120. That's barely enough for the 12 rated launcher. Uh, and this is regular ATM, not IATM. So there are still some combo pieces missing, but I think this is fair. This is perfectly fine. Uh, any LRMs that we want to slap on the mag? We have two LRM-10s. We have one LRM-15. I mean, Thunderbolts would be fine. Do we have Thunderbolt ammo? Thunderbolt 10. Thunderbolt Deadfire. 120 Murph. Another... Hmm, th that's a Thermobolt. I like it. Alright. Do we have two Thunderbolt 10s? Where are the T-Bolts? We have one Thunderbolt 10. We hate it. Ugh. I would totally take a double here and then fuel it with more Inferno and regular ammo. Weird. Okay, so I think in that case, I'm gonna put two ERPPCs on the max so that we have some damage output. And this, you can see, it takes up all of our heat management. All of it. Still, we have a lot of weight to work with. Another rock will be coming at some point, so we need to think about another 8 tons when we... Let's say 10 tons because of ammo as well and probably some extra cooling. So, yeah, I think this is gonna be our build. We're gonna start it here. Get some regular doubles in there. No missile weapons, we'll take the ERPPCs. And this is good enough of a, of a heat management. I don't think I'm gonna upgrade the armor in any kind of way. Uh, but what we need is some electronic warfare, so... Angel ECM, right here. Do we have another AMS lying around? An advanced one, not enough slots for putting this in there. Sadly. Sadly, sadly, sadly. Mm, so that doesn't work. 
Okay, so we got Angel ECM. I'm thinking about stealth, yes or no, but I think I'm gonna go no here. What I want is any kind of fire control system that gives us a ballistic. Plus two ballistic accuracy. All right, not bad. This gives us a multiplier to jam chance, but no innate accuracy, only for offensive pushes. It's not a thing I want. Uh, breaching, Bloodsport, Flak, is evasion, ignore, and critical, handheld, improved, melee, multi-track, scatter. I could take battle computers here. One evasion, ignore, and one gunnery. Ooh, and I think we got a, a recoil battle computer that I probably want. Put that in here. We got the crit and the extreme range. I'll take it. Why not? Why the hell not? So we can shoot, like, really far away. What I also probably want is a C C3 slave unit. Alright. Slick Sweet is alright to have. It's really good for initiative shenanigans if you have a lot of them. Powered sensors are also just fine. I don't think I need to change them. Piloting A. Why not? Rangefinder for gunnery is okay. Harden B is fine. Is Rangefinder better than Slick Sweet right now? I don't know. I cannot really tell. But yeah, this is the start of a build. And when we think about 10 extra tons, we definitely have them. We totally have them. So for now, I think I'm just gonna bring one of the LBXs back so we can still shoot some more weapons without any big heat buildup. We're still at negative 7 heat. Uh, what we need is ammo for it. Uh, any other major things that are missing? Maybe jump jets? But for that we don't really have that much tonnage anymore. Let's see if we have another ballistic that we can put in there. Maybe a Gauss rifle to go with the range. We have a funny North, North, North Storm even. Or oh, like a regular one. That's 15 tons. It's also 15. Ooh, it's a sketchy. This is really, really sketchy. We need another ton. We could drop a heatsink for another ton of ammo. Light Gauss? No, I don't want it. You know what? We just gotta put a, like, a regular good old LBX in here. And we'll take a slug ammo and probably one cluster ammo. It's good enough. So, we got two more tons. Technically, we could just run two more heat sinks if we want to. Is there anything else? I mean, I kind of want to jump around with a jump booster. But if we do that, no, we don't. We cannot. Optics is necessary. Um, leg actuators, arm actuators. Is there anything else here? Another upper recoil. We don't need to reduce the recoil on the LBX. It's not that big of a deal. Hmm. You know, sometimes... Sometimes you're just fine where you are. This is an alright build already. Costs us 7 million C bills. Holy crap. But we will have something good afterwards. Good-ish. Could be better. But anyway. Um, make decisions now. I'll take a Beagle Probe if we have it. Yes. Can I put it there? Uh, in that case... We have, we have a Beagle already? Wait, the powered sensor acts as a beagle? Or as a probe? Oh, it does. It does. Question is, what do we do with half a ton? Also, hmm. Which sensor do we take then instead? Sniper sensor? Tracker sensor? Question mark? Is this guy ever gonna shoot at short range? Potentially. Yeah. You know what? I'll take the sniper and I'll give this machine another two double heat sinks. Just to make sure that it never runs out. Oh, I should. I should actually do that because I wasn't uh, factoring the, the double heat of the rotary twos in here. It's not that much. It's only six. So, what, 12 total? We're fine. We're fine on heat management. All right, guys. That's gonna be our king crab for the moment. I am excited. Also, I wanna fix my battle master finally. So I can run it again. We lost the plasma rifle. Unfortunate, but no big deal. Do we have another one? Like another handheld. We have a lot of carry capacity now. 
Got a combat shotgun, a battle rifle. What's the weight on this? A ton. This is 16, never mind. Six ton. I could take the combat shotgun in the other hand. Whatever. It's some damage that we can throw out there. Or I drop the plasma and the shotgun and I'll take the battle rifle for a rotary. Hmm. Intriguing. Very, very intriguing. It'll take my overall heat idea away, but it gives us a little bit of raw damage. You know, I'll try it out. It's time to actually do some shenanigans here. Okay, repair all. We're good. We got the speedy legs. We got the plasma ammo. We got everything. All right. So, now, we have enough for the next financial report. That's very good. We need to manage our tasks, though, and we have so much stuff to repair currently that I believe... It would be a good idea to just go ahead and go to another planet. Yeah, let's go. Let's find a nice, uh, another nice spot to be in. For that, I'll probably sell some more items here. Let's go ahead and actually build the Pollocks. Probably sell the tank. Or sell the Arkvar APC. It's an arrow. It's not a bad thing. Alright, what about the Bombardier? What are you running? Doesn't really give us that much money. Jagamec, come on. I want to have a little bit more, you know. Carriers, champion can go. Easy. Another champion. Alright. So just so that we have enough money to not get into trouble when also thinking about our travel costs. Question is, where do we want to go? Is there any flashpoint around? Down there. 56 days. I don't want that. If there was anything in reach, I would take it. Reliquis. Relics? We have been playing that already, right? That was a lamb thing. Can we play that again? Special delivery. It's, it's all too far away, sadly. Alright, we're gonna stay in the proximity here. And we probably... We have a 6 scout planner. We probably want to find something like that again. I mean, at 7... I think 7 is too much. 6 is where we are comfortable right now. This might be good. Still 34. It's not really... Not really close. That's fine. No, wait. That's not fine. That's that's too big. Hmm. Okay. I, I could filter, but filtering takes a lot of time. That's perfect. We go to Nathan. Nathan is Battlefield, Moons, Recreation, Terran World. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, set course. And go to another planet. We have 400,000 sea builds left. And our max will be... Partly ready, actually. Partly ready when we arrive on the planet. Yep, 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 yep. Still so many things to work on. Hey, we get three tech points. That's exactly what we need. I love it. We don't even care about Ether being unavailable for seven days. That's fine. All right. So before we let it go, so after this one here, after this jump, I'm going to take another look at my, at my mech bay. Because I want to see if there are any criticals that we gotta fix while we are moving. If we can do it now, it would be best. Doesn't matter. We will arrive on the planet before everything is done. Alright, one look at the store, one look at the hiring hall. That's the thing that we always do. We have arrived at Nathan. We find toads, battle armor. Battle armor grenade launcher. Battle armor medium laser. I am very tempted to buy out all of these. That's good. That's some serious damage. And it's not ammo dependent. It's a grenade launcher like. Nothing. A little bit of area of effect damage. And that's it. It's 20 shots though. Okay. At the very least. Uh, we got a minigun. Minigun is for battle mechs. Very good against battle armor. We got a magpie UAV beacon. Got some cluster bombs. I am very interested in these medium lasers, and I think I'm gonna buy all of them. Uh, buy. Let's go. Who needs money anyway, right? Alright. Cool. We need to look at the hiring hall as well. There's Jamie. Who are you? This is a rogue take special crew with a special um, uh, skill. Let's take a look. 
25% uh, chance to nerf or buff your C-Bills by 2500. Also Code Monkey, 7 Heat Sinking, 1 Evasion, 0.5 Met Tech, and more upkeep. Also Burning Chaos, 1 Heat per shot, 15% extra heat damage. Oh, I love him. Also immune to injuries from overheat, external, internal explosion. He's lucky. He has lost tech. He is disgraced for ECM shield and guts. He's assassin for culture. He's so damn good. Also tanker with all of these things. Yeah, we need we need money to buy these guys or to, to hire these guys. We're not buying them. We're hiring them. Um question is, do we do it by... Yeah, I think I'm doing it now, before I forget. Because I have a tendency to do so. So, let's go ahead and quickly sell some things. Like a missile weapon or so. Or so. We have a bunch of ATM-6s. Funny. Uh, ATM-9s, pirate. Get out of here. ATM-12, get out of here. We need like 400,000 C-Bills for this guy. LRM-5s, we need them. The 15s can go. 20 Delta can go. MMLs. I don't know, man. I think I want to also keep my MRMs. Question is Thunderbolt, yes or no? Yes. Got some jump jets that we can sell. Lamb booster, I want to keep them. That's very important to me. Hmm. Pirate engine. That would be a lot of money instantly. Ah, it hurts. Doesn't really give me the money that I want. Double XL is gonna stay. Uh, we got a bunch of... I mean, single heat sinks can go. It doesn't give us the money that we want, but anyway. Yeah, there's not much here. I've, I've flushed out a lot of things already. 24 is the worst one, right? Let me quickly check. Yeah, okay. We can sell that thing. I have a lot of Artemis attachments, which I also value. I do value them, yeah. Case can go. Oh, boy. Beagle. Let's drop the beagle then. Plan cockpit. Sure. Drop all of these. We have better cockpits. Small cockpit. We go. We got an advanced one. Let's drop this. Alright. We are good to go. Okay. It's important that I get this guy now. And I wonder if I should get Tank Girl as well. She is... She's good. She has a lot of cool things here. She could be my gladiator, honestly. My punch girl. I would very much like that. Okay, but we will we will play a mission to get her later. Let's take a look at what we want to do here. It's just a bunch of one and two days, so we're gonna wait for all of this. One, two, all right. And there's one thing I need to fix that I already know, which is the Vulture. I lost an LRM-5. Sadly, a pirate one. We got another one here. There we go. Okay, validate that. Okay, and then one more day. All work orders complete. Quick check. I want to check the Sea Riders now. The Devastator. Can we put medium lasers in the mech? And if so, are they even good? So, this SRM has only two volleys. But also doesn't weigh a lot. Yeah. That's the problem. Do we want bursts or do we want sustain? Medium pulse clan is good. Hmm. Where's my where's my battle armor stuff? All right, down here. So I, I think these SRMs are not great. The SRM fives are. They are perfect. They're also heavy. Okay, how do we play around this now? I think small lasers are still fine-ish. Sometimes I did not shoot because we were not in range though. We gotta get like really close. So what if we drop the small lasers? Usually boating smaller weapons is good. That's a medium pulse, that's a medium laser. I wanna keep those PPCs. Awkward. I want all of these weapons. All of them. 
So do we drop the SRMs, yes or no? That's a lot of burst damage that we can drop there. And it has six volleys, which is, I would say, just enough. I think these are valuable. They are really valuable. The smaller weapons down here, not so much. PPC is, is perfect. I love this thing. Absolutely fantastic. It's good range. SRM can go. Hmm. Difficult. Very, very difficult. When we have the hard points, we are not using them. It's bad, man. Okay, let's drop a little bit of armor on each of them. And I think we are good. Okay. You know what? I I'm gonna I'm gonna make a a nice little a nice little squad out of these. So we have we have what do we have here? One heavy gauss left. So we have the 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 leader with a battle armor PPC double and the heavy gauss. Then we have a yeah SRMs on everybody. I love it. And then some combination of, of lasers. Medium laser, medium laser, medium laser. There's a medium pulse laser. Uh, and another medium pulse laser. Yeah, that looks alright. I could drop the pulse and make it a medium instead. I guess it's fine. Here we go. Let's go. Let's do it! Okay. So, I, I think we made him better. I hope. Let's go ahead and play the first mission of the day. Uh, oh, there are duels available. That's great. That is so damn good. It's a duel duel in the Highlands. Shall we start with that? I'd say we do. Let's go. Playing for money. That's good. Playing against the pirates. That's also good. And we obviously need to take our best units possible. Let's go ahead and load the clear lands. Okay. Let us think. We have so many options here. I love it. Um, yeah, what do we take? I want to test the King Crab, but I don't want to do it now. Lone Wolf is fine-ish. Ish. Marauder is always good. I mean, we can make a flying squad happen. Right? Right? Yeah, let's go. Take Jamie, take Caspar, and we're playing duo in the Highlands. Let's go! Alrighty, guys, let's see what we can do. We are the Flying Boys. Um, and I really hope that we have enough support from each other that we can get this done. Okay, we see a Timber Wolf and a Catapult. I think we can deal with them. Okay, pretty good. Should be very much doable. Alright. Double brace. Spawn protection removed. Catapult coming in. Alright, since when can swarm ammo attack flyers? That is interesting. So, impact was rather low. Ooh, AP Gausses. Interesting. Yeah, that's some pretty cool stuff there. I will also give the Timber Wolf a turn. So we can go for him first. He is the more dangerous guy. Absolutely. He's gonna be my first target. Bounty Hunter 2. Alright. Pretty good. Pretty good what you got there. I'm gonna show you what I got. All of this. That was underwhelming. Okay. But there's more where that came from. So... Man, I really hope we can... Nah, we cannot knock him down. That's not possible. Not at all. All the bombs, all the narcs, all the weapons. Fire. Got some serious hits. But again, we needed that the other way around. Oh, in order to be impactful. Let's move around to the other side. And I want 10 evasion. Yeah, let's go down here. And and knock him, actually. Maybe even kill. Good enough. Good enough. There's the knockdown. Okay. Yeah, he now has very low initiative. He's down to 12. That means that our Marauder can just fly in and finish the job. No big deal. Here we go. I think we go for center. 
Did I have to go alpha? No. Do we care? No. It's fine. Catapult. You're flanked out, buddy. No. Outflanked. That's the word. Cool. So. Let's do it again. I'm right here. Got some heat on him. Uh, wait, we could potentially... No, it's only a charge. I wanted to say we could go melee on him and get in his back. Uh, let's go for a flank. Good old side attack. We might trigger an ammo explosion so that he is down. Just in case, let's go vigilant. It's just so devastating. Our flyers are doing such a great job. And in combination, they are almost untouchable. Almost. Almost. Successful. Good. Very good. We got a million sea bills now. That is fantastic. We are... We're going to buy or hire Tanker. That's important. Mm. And then we're going to play another one. I didn't really uh, check out which other missions we had there. But I also want to bring the King Crab to the battlefield. All right. What was that? It was a kind of a notification. Oh, sorry. That was my web WhatsApp. Cool, Omni Loa. No, Timberwolf. Mm. It's the bounty hunter. It might seem weird, but I'll pick an I'll pick an AP Gauss rifle. These are fantastic weapons. If you can manage to get into range with them. All right, catapult, ELRM. Not bad. Sell the sell the jump jets. All right. Again, I was here for the money. The stuff that I got here is just a little bit of icing on the cake. And that was a quick way to gather a million sea bills. Bit of downtime now, I know. But um, I'm ready. I'm ready to go to the next one. Let's do it. And since this planet can spawn duels, I think we might stay here for a little while. You know, farming them a little. It's gonna be fun. Okay. So what's gonna be our ideal build now? Our ideal composition? What I want and I think need is the Battle Master on the battlefield again, because he has the C3 Master unit, which is a thing that I can put in the King Crab, being my new command mech, maybe. Hmm. Okay. Tank Girl. Yeah, it's worth it. Sigurd. Nah, I'm gonna say no. We wait two days. And then we're going in once more. By the way, all of my new pilots, they will stay in the simulators for a while. I will just train them before I do anything else. Battle in the lowlands. Seems good. Yeah, I like this planet. We can we can actually balance our challenge rating here. Going really high or staying where we are comfortable. And I think for now, for the test run with the King Crab, I just want to stay comfortable. Let's, let's do that. So, we get the King Crab, obviously. We get the... Hmm. Battlemaster... I think I want Max more than anything right now. I think the Vulture is good. The Archer, if possible, I'll leave it where it is. Lone Wolf is fantastic. We need 400 tons, though. I see. Hashtag challenge. Hashtag, hashtag. Huh. All right. So, what we can bring as a Sea Rider unit. And that's all. Is this a good test run, then? If we can only bring these fools? Maybe. It'll be fun. Like, where's our damage coming from? We have a bunch of tools here. But we have no damage. That's a problem. Okay. I gotta think about it. Maybe it's not the King Crab in that case. Maybe it is the... It has to be the Dire Wolf, right? I feel like it. Yeah. Sorry, the King Crab is gonna come up. Mm, I want it. Okay. I said it. We do it. Let's go. King Crab it is. We need somebody with the uh, Focus Fire perk and the military or ex-military trait. Uh, bullet Trap is on the Vulture, funnily enough. We need to relearn, I guess. Uh, we have Finn and Ready and available. He was on the Atlas, he was on the Alacorn, and I think I want him there. The Vulture. Ah. Ah. Popo? Yeah, Popo is a is a is a jack of all trades. I think I'm gonna put him on the crab. And then the Battlemaster is Wizard, if I remember correctly. And then we have the Sea Rider, which is being piloted by you, my friend. By you. Alright, let's do it. 
Okay, this is gonna be a challenge. We are four skulls against five and a half. Let's see what we can do. All right, guys, let's get into it. Let's see if we find a support lance. We have one lance right in front of us. Nothing to hide behind. Oh boy. Oh boy. I think we wanna we wanna start here and maybe push to the right side, get some cover in the forest or so. We'll see. Problem is that our flyers will always be in line of sight to the enemies. And vice versa. Okay, they got reinforcements but no support lands. I think we can deal with that. I see a Highlander, which might be a problem. Battlemaster, which might be a problem. A striker. No idea what that guy is. Heavy mech with a thousand and eighty armor plates. A sorcerer. We have so many sorcerers. A Black Knight, a Helipolis, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, let's go ahead and convert. And... A move around a little. Into the forest. If possible, always get that damage reduction in the first round. When it makes sense. So, the Marauder. 14 evasion. I want to try to get through the Sorcerer first. He is nasty with all the PPCs. Oh wait, it's a different variant. Ah, all right. Not that dangerous. Still, here are the flanking brothers. The Highlander, again, might be a problem. Hmm. And I cannot easily get to the Helapolis. It's also gonna be a little bit of a problem. So we can jump and brace. Let's do that. Yep. All right. Like night. Got the Vulture. Yeah, I think damage reduction is key, so we go for a Brace. He's a Sorcerer. King Crab? Kaiju? Oh, no. I thought, at this point, we'd be fine. I'll, I'll take it back. Go move and Brace. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We gotta kill quickly. So damn important. This is a good or a bad idea going up here. Cannot really hit anything right now. I think we're gonna reserve this. See what else we can do. Here's a label is. Yeah, that hurt. Is that a label is? No. Yes! It's two of them! <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Does that change my attack pattern? I don't think so. We're gonna just push this and see what we can do. Depending on my hit chance, I'm gonna decide which one I will attack. Sorcerer is not really that dangerous. Hmm. But I don't want him in my flank. So let's try. Hey, headshot! Love it. Okay. Same thing, same deal. My AGMs don't really fit here. Need to find another spot. I don't want to go so close. Where do I get my 13? Alright, it will be an attack from the front, but I guess so be it. Let's focus down on a sorcerer first, and then we're gonna see what else we can do later. No bombs, not yet. He's unsteady. It's his turn, though. Ow. It's alright. Dudes, I really feel like we will get some damage here. Ah, now Ether can attack this. Yeah, let's go. We're gonna go and flank. Leave him out of harm's way for the moment. For as long as possible. Okay, that's good. These fools are really fast. Black Knight. It's good. It's a full miss. Striker has not taken a turn. It's like lots of energy in one ballistic. Hmm. Yeah, I tried to shut the Battlemaster down. Maybe we can get this done. Burst auto. Single. Ah! Alright, that's cool. Why is a clustering of three shots in burst? Four recoil. 
One accuracy, one evasion, ignore. Fire six shots. 15 jam chance and plus two recoil. Single shot. 5% jam chance. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, I mean, 80 damage out of that gun. They hate my battle motor motorbikes here. Really? Why? Okay, it was a good shot anyway. Uh, he also took some damage internally. The question is why? So the big projectiles missed us. This is the important thing about it. I cannot wait to get the King Crab online. Gotta spin the barrels. Let's do it. Ah, and the Battlemaster can also move after shooting. Interesting. Good, he's getting hot. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Striker. Sensor lock on my Battlemaster, but nothing else. He is my LRM. I want this guy out before anything else. Let's stay on the target and maybe take a one mech out of the game already. Ah. So, no ammo crit, but he's so panicked. Highlander. Oh, God, what happened here? I mean, I rebuilt it, but the build is not that great that you have to take him out as your priority target. Kaiju. Woo. I really feel like we need to overheat Kaiju. Kaiju has heat problems big time. Uh, it, it, the build is not that good in cooling. So we can shut him down relatively easily. So we're gonna try to get into position. King Crab moving forward. Um, I think damage is the, the right call. He already took heat damage this round, so the next few shots will be less impactful. Let's go with damage. Solid. So, we self-repair. Good. Good for us. That was the Black Knight. Double large pulse ERPPC. Crazy Knight. Crazy. On the right side also. Huh. Yeah, we attack him from the front, so we have a chance to hit his front. Uh, and then also the right side. Uh, no heavy... Gauss. I mean, seven shots. Will we ever run dry in this scenario here? We might. We might, actually. Bada boom. So, Sorcerer. Our right flank is down. We only have the, the Striker up here. It's good for us. Seems to be a small autocannon. More, uh, yeah, more like an autocannon 5. Also, not quite a heavy. It's an assault. It's 80 ton. I want to take cover. We go for the Battlemaster. Bomb, yes or no? I don't think so. If only we can follow up now. That would be fantastic. Oh, and we can. Yo, dudes, we have to do something about the Helapolises. Otherwise, our uh, Devastators are gonna just get devastated. Uh, that means we gotta push. It's a bit risky, especially with our Phoenix on the front. I should have stayed a little more in the back. A little more. Uh, but yeah, here we are. Decisions have been made. We have to run away, trying to get distance between us and them. That's the only way, I feel. Um, yeah, I can push this with the Vulture. We're gonna go for Mr. Battlemaster, try to kill. Hey, it's not quite a kill, but he should have suffered another injury. And with the knockdown, he might get incapacitated. Ah, not quite. Okay. Anyway, we keep pushing. This time, we totally go for Mr. Highlander. 
Got some heat on him. Okay. Incendiaries on the Highlander. Let's see how much we can overheat. Or not. Hey, that's pretty good. That was fantastic. I don't think that the Battlemaster is able to do anything anymore. He lost most of its cooling, most of its weapons. No accuracy. Pilot is heavily injured. Yeah, next round, maybe, when he recovers a little bit, but no, not now. 17. Highlander. Did nothing. Oh god, we gotta go. We have self-repairing armor. But it only repairs for so much. I'll disengage completely. We run. Ring, ring. Okay. Uh, let's get Vigilance. We cannot really get a guarded stance with the Sea Riders, but anyway. Anyway. I really feel like the front attack might be better than the back attack. But we have less... Hmm, yeah, we have less components to attack when attacking from behind. So that might be the right choice. We hit more where it hurts, is what I want to say. Didn't quite get him, though. Fine. No! Leave me alone! Oh, come on! We really gotta do something about those Alapolises. Fair enough. Alright. Let's... Uh, oh god, do we go down here? Seems awkward, but I'll do it. I need to push this. Let's go ahead and attack Mr. Kaiju. Yeah, we'll do it. But in a guarded stance. Perfect. Unsteady. Mm-hmm. Ah, there it is! First critical state. I don't know if we can even outrun them. No idea. So, we have two options now. Either we're gonna attack the Kaiju with our bombs that we have, dealing some splash damage to the Knights, or we go for the bombs against the Halepolises. But you know what? I am actually afraid of this guy. So we go for Mr. Kaiju. Next round we can do something against the other guys. Hmm. Not a kill, but a knock. One health on the side torso. And the fall damage didn't hit that. Alright, fair enough. Ignite. It's kind of expected, and the armor is getting actually kind of low. But I'm gonna keep going with this. Mm, Multi-target would be fantastic. Wait, we do have multi-target. Ooh, let's check this out real quick. Yep. Alright. The battle rifle is gonna go in the back of the Highlander. So is the TS EMP. Plasma cannon on the other guy. Let's go. Got him. And now a kill? Eh, not quite. Better even. Even better. I don't want to waste a turn. So we're gonna move to the side, do the crab walk, and try to attack this guy on the top. How much heat? Uh, a serious amount. It's pretty good. One health, eh? One health. Crazy. Let's see what he's doing. Yeah, one lucky shot. Gotta make sure that my sight also stays intact there. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, next is, is you guys. I don't want my friends to die, alright? So we're gonna try to take you out now. Sniper artillery. Another sniper artillery. We attack from the wrong side. Yeah, fine. Yep. Yeah. That is a start. Get down here. And that was our target. Alright. Let's go bomb. Only got Inferno left. I should really drop that. That fast cam stuff. It's not good. It is not good. Alright. We keep pushing. Sadly, the Kaiju turned around. That means... 
Probably want to attack the knight. Kaito is hot already. Want to see what happens when we auto auto fire our handheld rock. That happens. Do we jam? We do not jam. I wonder how much um, recoil we have though next round. Let's go down here. Get out of here. LRMs. We could. We could try to trigger a critical on this. I'll do it. Kaiju would be the obvious target, I know. Let's go with this. Okay, so one Helepolis is out of the game. Good. Yeah. And since they have close targets, they actually swivel over to the, the flyers now. Never mind. I'll take it back. We have no evasion on the Battlemaster anymore. Yep. Okay. Keep going, keep pushing, keep shooting. I love this King Crab already. Imagine we had another of these autocannons. So good. Yeah, I think at this point, we definitely have it under control. Let's just finish them. Oh, overheat. Perfect. I do. Probably also nothing. Yeah, we got this. Alrighty. So, we're gonna start with a nice good old back attack against uh, the, the Black Knight. Some damage out, but not enough. Ether. Ether is running. Don't get killed, buddy. It's more like I don't want to lose the items in the mech. Oh, in the, in the unit. So, two priorities. First, kill the Black Knight. Second, kill the second Helepolis. Very important. And if possible, we want to take these back strikes. I love this battle rifle. So good, man. So damn good. Uh, we don't have enough for controlled bursts anymore, but hey. Eek! Okay. Okay. You were affected by it. Got some heat now. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Uh, where, where to go now? Probably wanna move around to the other side. Like, here. And I wonder what we can shoot. Yeah, not the mediums. Not the smalls. But still our high explosive ATMs and I want to go vigilant because I can. Here we go. No need to fi- Incredible clustering. No need to kill the other Helepolis. The sniper artillery is without ammo because we destroyed that side there. Which means... What does it mean? Which means we can go from the left side? From the front? I guess we're gonna go in from the front now. Okay, say hello to my little friends. Got a lot of small lasers. Yeah, perfect. We needed one damage. And that's all we got. As I was saying, at this point, it's basically in the bag. We go with damage now. Love that. The King Crab has already proven its worth. It's so good. So damn good. Okay. Damage where damage is due, here on the striker. Eh. Enough? Oh, we got a crit on the peep. Right. Insane how fast we are with this. I mean, we have to go in, into the fire. But let's see. And again, we have no big recoil. We refire one only. It's totally manageable. Take it. Alright. Great. Uh, will we get line of sight? Where oh, mm, yeah. Eh, eh. Ah, whatever. Whatever, doesn't matter. I'm gonna stand and shoot this. Fire, 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 fire. Tandem, Typhon, Incendiary. I guess it's Incendiary. It's the best we have. Here we go. 
It's the best of both worlds. Damage and heat. Fine. Go melee? Go kick? Let's have some fun. Uh. Cool. Now what? That was not a kill. I was so certain. You are... you're fine. You just run. Nothing to do here, nothing to see. Yeah, we actually have to probably play another round. Because we couldn't quite kill in this one. Medium laser. That's all he has. Yeah, what do you think of the King Crab? I believe it's a good build. And as I was saying, I just need more of these autocannons. One more. And I'd be very happy already. Okay. Um, let's go over here again. And maybe kill. Let's go all in. Alpha strike. Big butter boom. Beautiful. <sighs> I love when a plan comes together. Let's go for another kick. Yep. It worked! Hell yeah. Okay. So, we we could take kaiju parts here. It is an interesting mech for a late game sniper build. We can just slap four ERPPCs on those arms and give it a headshot battle computer and all of these things. It's not in the Gunslinger program, so it doesn't get the extra offensive push accuracy bonus that the Marauder or Marauder 2 would get. But it could be a start. Kaiju. Let's see how many parts are left. And I think we have one already. Alright, here we go. So, Highlander. It says we got one of these. Uh, it's kind of bugged out right now. Ah, now it works. No? No, ah, okay. So, uh, we have one kaiju part. Again, Sorceress. The game wants me to pick Sorceress. Kaiju is not available. Maybe it's in the bottom. The ordering might be a bit off. Sniper artillery times two. Yeah, that was Halepolis. Artemis four. We don't need it. Ooh. Is there anything good in here? PPC capacitors. Ah, 30 extra heat, but also 25 more damage. Oh, they changed that. I thought it was a percentage thing, and now it's a flat damage bonus. 25 extra damage. So you can attach it to a light PPC and it still deals 25 extra. But yeah, you also have to pay the flat heat. And 15% chance to misfire. I'm not a fan of that. Here's the Kaiju. I think I'll take it. We get some engines available here. And more Goose Rivals. I'm honestly kind of torn what to take. I think I need value. I think I need money in any form. So uh, what would we take? I might want to pick a Highlander and build it. Yes. Yes, that's true. We might find the engine in this uh, 90 ton mech. So if you get another part of this, we would have enough for a full Highlander. Let's see. We get Black Knight Helepolis. Highlander 1, 2, 3. Oh, we didn't get the fourth part. All right. Bunch of parts for a Sorcerer. Auto Cannon 5 can go. Not a fan of pulse lasers. Not really. They spread too much for a laser. SLDF cockpit. Engine can go. Basic sensors for the win. I would say that was good value here. Again, we almost have the Highlander available. We can build it. We can sell the parts if they are intact. Maybe we even run that Highlander. But we have to decide that in one of the next episodes. That has been it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. I mean it. Click that button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hope to see you next time. Goodbye.